Hiya, this is Tricky Ricky. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking in more detail at the Shimano SLX Brake Hack as shown in this image right here. Right guys, so I know we've looked at this hack in a previous video, but we're going to look at it in a bit more detail. We're also going to look about what tools we need to do the hack and why we should be doing it. So, let's have a quick look at the brakes. These are the Shimano SLX M7000 brakes and the hack that we are talking about is this little fella right here which is a 4mm cap screw. Uh, and that actually adjusts the bite or, re or um, throw of the actual brake lever while you're braking. The SLX doesn't currently allow you to do this in its default form but it does include the same internal mechanism of the XT brake. So by performing this hack, you're actually effectively getting XT brakes, but significantly cheaper. Let's have a look at the tools you're going to need. First and foremost, you're going to need a set of these, which are classed as U-spanners or U-bits. These are BROP, B-R-O-P-P, -P, and I got these on eBay for a fiver. You're also going to need a couple of these, which are M4 titanium cap screws. These are going to replace these little blanking screws, which are found on the brakes when you buy them. And in order to get those out, you're going to need a simple hexagon screwdriver and one of these U-bits. So before you get started carrying out this hack, there's just a, a something that you're going to have to do. So this the U bit that I used was actually a U6. I don't know if you can see that, it says U6 on the bit there. Um, however, it doesn't actually fit the blanking cap screws initially when you buy it. I'm hoping you can see there, if I move it around, I have actually had to chamfer each corner there to make the tips or the nibs of this bit small enough so it actually fits into this little cap screw. Now, it doesn't take much doing, I literally just put it in the vise, just there, and I used a metal file just to file the ends off. It is hardened, it is actually chrome vanadium I think, but it literally took a couple of minutes just to chamfer that off. But once you've done that, you're ready to go, and it's literally as simple as remove the cap screw, screw in the titanium M4 bolt. What I'm going to do is put the replace the cap screw in the brake and just simulate what I did just to show you uh, how, just how easy this hack is. Right, so hopefully you can see on that image just there, this is what the brakes look like with this blanking screw in place. And this is how, when you buy a set of Shimano SLX brakes, this is what they look like. So all we're going to do is you are, use our U-bit and our hexagon screwdriver to unscrew that. And literally, it's, this, this is not particularly tight when you do this. It's actually really, really easy. There's no resistance, it just unscrews incredibly easy. They're about... 11 or 12 millimeters long these cap screws so you don't have to screw it out very far either pop that down there and you just get your replacement bolt really so you can see i actually experimented with two different types one with a squarer profile and one with a more cone shaped profile eventually i decided to use this one because it's kind of got a gunmetal finish and i think it looks quite nice and then all you're going to do is just replace this in the same thread in the same hole. It's a standard M4 thread so you don't have to worry about whether it's going to cross thread or whether it's going to damage the brake. It just screws in so easy. You eventually get to a point and hopefully as I'm turning this you'll see the lever start to adjust. So you can see the lever adjusting now and what that's doing is it's actually eliminating the free throw so it's bringing the biting point closer so you don't have to pull the lever as far in to actually get that brake to bite. Now you will find, you know, if you come up to a natural stop here, don't try and over tighten this because you can damage that mechanism inside. And hopefully you can see there's around about a kind of four to five millimeter gap between the cap screw and the brake, just the thread showing there. That's perfect, that's exactly how it wants to be. That's it, hack done for, for about 10 pounds. No reason why you shouldn't be doing this on the SLX brakes. That's it for this video, nice and short. I think the shortest one I've done yet. If you like the hack and you like the video, hit that little like, thumbs up down there, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content, hit that bell for notifications. And that's this one done. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.